I'm Colonel Joseph C. Dator, the battalion commander of the 10th Military Intelligence Battalion, based here at uh, Camp Manuel T. Yan Sr. Tuburan Mawab Davao de Oro. I am already more or less 26 years in the active service. Uh, I always admired uh, men in uniform. When I was a kid, I really liked the way they dress, the way they carry themselves, their bearing, and of course the bravado that goes with it. So since then, I already dreamed of uh, joining the ranks of uh, men in uniform, particularly the Philippine Army. I could say that the, the most challenging assignment that I had was when I was designated as the battalion commander, owing for a fact that uh, you really need to accomplish your mission given the restrictions of uh, having limited resources. After those, uh, I had uh, a lot of other assignments, but uh, most were not life-threatening. If uh, you would take it into the context of uh, combat or armed engagement, that was just during my junior years in Kalingay Napaya, wherein we were confronting the Kalinga Front Committee way back then. Winning the war with, with our counterinsurgency efforts in crafting the new intelligence annex of that uh, campaign plan, owing to the fact that uh, we have significantly reduced the number of uh, NPA members from a few thousands down to only a few hundreds at this present moment. So that's the success of the SSP. Kapayapan compared to other campaign plans that we did. My first standing order from my commanding general way back then was to prioritize Marikit, Arian Jane Ramos, to be neutralized. So since then, I have focused all my energy and resources in capturing actually a rescue mission to rescue her from the influence of uh, the communist terrorist group. It has been how many years since then, and uh, being neutralized by uh, my unit, I'm happy to say that uh, right now, Marikit is uh, living a happy and uh, fulfilled life for them to realize that we are not their enemies. We are here, supposedly, to help them in achieving that long and lasting peace that uh, we so need that everybody wishes to accomplish. It gives us immense pride to know that right now, Davao region is free from insurgency and that freedom from insurgency is because of what we did. Not on, on our own credit alone, we have, we have to implore the help, of course, of the local government units, the local chief executives, Plus, of course, the former rebels themselves, making Davao region a very peaceful and conducive place to live in. The way I see it and what we did was to personally help these former rebels that we were able to neutralize. The most uh, fulfilling part of this job that I have is seeing former rebels being reunited with their families. No amount of medals or awards could replace that. Well, if we could make a difference in one former rebel's life, it would radiate into the society so that peace and development would reign and finally everybody could have a better quality of life. Salute to Colonel Joseph Jeremiah Cirilo Dator. Philippine Army's innovator of military intelligence.